I'm still Alexa Manila. Welcome back to PCAP's Unwind 2021. Status report. yourself sound positive news. Okay. Okay. Alexa Manila, welcome to the status report. The status report. Hey, just letting you see my bare back. You know what time it is? It's time to donate. Text unwind to 50155. We apologize for that testicular, I mean technical difficulty. I'm Dr. Felicia Fox. I'm Jayla Wade. Your positive news source from the Olympic Mountains. I'm Marshall Sanders. Cascades. I'm Lavendalite. From the Capitol Rotunda. We're giving you sports, the weather, the traffic, and of course, entertainment. Where the news is always possible. Coming to you from the PCAST yeah. studio. Now, now that we're up to speed with all the latest news, and uh, you may have already heard the breaking news that Eric, our dear Eric Silbach. I look like Oprah right now, but it's like not, not a happy Oprah. It's a sad Oprah right now. Because apparently Eric Silbach, this is breaking news from TMZ, Tacoma something something MZ, will be leaving in November. <laughs> but um, don't worry, I'm vaccinated. <laughs> Eric will be leaving PCAF in November after five years at the helm. Now let's go to Eric. This is my angry face. But good angry face. Let's go to Eric now to get the full scoop. I'm listening. You know, Alexa, I've known you a long, long time, and I've seen that angry face before. So send you lots of love. Uh, it's true. I'm I'm going off on an adventure. Uh, had some stuff happen to me earlier this year, some medical stuff, and it really just uh, put things in some perspective. And so I'm I'm taking a giant leap and going into private practice as a spiritual coach and healer. And I'm so very excited uh, about that. And I'm really sad to, to be leaving PCAF. PCAF has been an amazing experience the last five years. And, and what I want to say is uh, we've been going strong for 35 years. As Speaker Jenkins said, you know, th this is uh, a community. It is an amazing set of people, strong and resilient. and um, it's never, ever, ever been about one person. Um, and I, I know uh, the organization is in a great place and uh, whoever comes after me can take it to the next level. Um, you know, I think I wanna call out some, some folks just to, just to talk about that, that community feel, which is, you know, first and foremost, our clients and the communities we serve who are at the center of everything we do. And we get to hear some amazing stories. Um, you know, sometimes they get uh, put into a video and, and we show them and, and we um, sometimes hear them one-on-one uh, -on -one in the office. Um, it's, it's just amazing, an amazing group of people who, who come access services here and, and gift us with their stories and, and their trust. Um, so that's, you know, I want to always... Uh, just remember them because they are the center of our work. And our work is our staff and whew, they're freaking amazing. Um, you know, particularly in the last year and a half with this pandemic, uh, we've had to pivot and change and adapt and adapt again and change again and try new things. And, and they have just been um, rocking it. Um, and so there is this long legacy too. It's, it's not just the current staff, but, you know, 35 years of staff who have been coming through this organization, um, and now are everywhere out in the world, which is kind of awesome that, you know, pretty much every, anywhere you go, uh, you can find some PCAF staff, uh, folks who have been, been through here. And so that, that is an amazing network, uh, too. And, um, I'm trying to talk and also uh, read read some of the comments. Uh, try, I'm not sure I'm going to read the comments till after, so I don't start uh, tearing up. But um, so yeah, the staff. Thank you to each and every staff member for for everything uh, that you do. Yes, Woody, pretty amazing. Honestly, it is true. Um, and then you know, community partners, the organizations we work with, um, the health department both uh, local and state, Rainbow Center, Oasis, AHAT, 
Keepers of the Flame, uh, CHC, just to name a few. But but there are so many here in Tacoma, and, and Tacoma is an amazing community where everybody stands together and collaborates and, and works together in such amazing ways to make sure that um, people are served and people get their, their needs met. And, and I have uh, loved it to, to be in Tacoma. You know, I, I lived and worked in Seattle for a long time, and I have to say, I like Tacoma better. Uh, so I'm gonna stay here, I'm hanging out in Tacoma after I, I go from PCAP. So um, again, you know, it's it's 35 years of history of fighting a pandemic. We've, we have never given up and, and PCAP won't give up. Uh, and so even though I'm gonna be going, PCAP is staying and it's staying strong and, and we'll continue the fight. Um, and, and as is pointed out, the heart and dedication and boldness of PCAF staff is truly incredible. That was said by our finance director, Emily. Um, so just huge gratitude, uh, to those community partners. And then all of you are supporters and donors and, um, friends of the organization. Also, you know, I, I talk a lot about how we can't do this by ourselves, it is really about community and it's about the network and it's about the, um, basically the love that everybody shares and, and works together. And so I've just, it's just been an honor to, to be here and, and I will always, always, always be a PCAP supporter. So thank you. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you so much, Eric Silback. I know thank you is not enough to express our sincere gratitude, our overwhelming gratitude to all of your all of the five years and beyond. For folks that may not know this, I have known Eric Silback way before PCAF. Eric Silback has been in HIV education, prevention, intervention. And I also want to proudly say I've also known her as one of the sisters of perpetual indulgence. And if you don't know about them, please Google, Google it. Google it, Google it, and it will make sense to you why where Eric's heart is in the community. Uh, but I also want to also recognize the self-care that you are doing and that you're inspiring others to do the same thing. I, uh, I'm i grateful for the friendship that we've had over the years, both professional and personal. And I know I'll keep going, but I'll share it behind the scenes. And again, thank you. Thank you so much. Now back over to our friends and family of PCAF. Thank you so very much for joining us for the status report for this year's Unwind with PCAF 2021. On behalf of PCAF, thank you so much for your gifts, for your generosity. Any amount is very special to us. Keep continuing to uh, flow in those gifts to 50155. Again, text UNWIND to 50155 to make a gift via text or go online at pcaf-wa.org. Thank you so very much again. On behalf of PCAF, my name is Alexa Manila saying thank you and salamat po. Some of the biggest challenges that PCAF faces today are that there's far less awareness of the epidemic than there was in the early days when, when it was on the news all the time, when people were reading about the epidemic, when there was lots of policy discussions. Now we aren't that visible. People uh, tend to think that the disease is over. They, they're not hearing about it in the news. They're not reading stories in the newspaper. What I most want people to know is that PCAF is still here doing the hard work every day, that there are still people living with HIV who need our service services, that there are still people at risk for HIV who need our services, that HIV stigma still exists. It brings great joy to me, as well as my fellow directors, to know that PCAF is strong after 30 years. Our hope is to continue to move forward and strengthen relationships that will continue to open the doors wider. Whether it's because it's a social justice issue that requires action, whether because it's a personal connection to somebody who has been impacted by HIV, whether it's just because it's the right thing to do. Our donors have stood by us since the beginning and continue to stand by us. We will continue to fight to prevent the spread of HIV. We will continue to provide services for people living with HIV, continue to ensure that folks are living healthy lives, continue to work on the root causes of the epidemic. We will be here until the end. 
thank you so much for your support and thank you from the HIV community. Your support means a lot to us. We couldn't do it without you. Text unwind to 50155 to donate. Unwind. That's U N W I N D. Pika. Ending the HIV epidemic in the South Sound.